If you're looking to get in the gym, squat big weights, or just squat deeper with less pain, here are five things you have to do before you squat. What's up my friend, Mike Robertson here. Now, if you've been in the gym for any extended period of time, you know that the squat takes a long time to warm up for. But what you can't do is just hop on an exercise bike, pedal mindlessly for five minutes, and hope that you're gonna be ready to train. So over the years, it's taken me a long time, I have figured out five activities that I do before every squat session that helps get me feeling loose and ready to go. Now before we jump in, take two seconds out of your day, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, so you know every week when we drop a new video. Now, let's dive in. Okay, so the first exercise I want you to do when you're warming up to squat is called a seated dorsal rostral expansion. Now, can't take credit for the name or the exercise, those go to Bill Hartman, but it's an awesome activity for opening up the upper back. If you can't open up your upper back, if you can't shift your center of gravity back, you're gonna struggle to squat effectively. So here's what I want you to do. I've just got this little band. What I want you to do, elbows on the table. Think about pulling your wrists apart. My palms are back towards my face. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna gently kind of drive my elbows into the table, and then I'm gonna take a breath in and I'm trying to fill that upper back. Exhale and relax. Hands are apart, elbows are down into the table. Inhale, exhale, relax. You're gonna do two sets of five breaths. Okay, the second exercise I want you to do before you squat is called a rock and roll. Now, the seated dorsal rostral expansion creates some space on the back side of the body. Now we're gonna try and take that and just level it up a little bit, make it a little bit more dynamic. So what I want you to do here, take your hands and arms, wrap them behind your thighs, and then all you're gonna do is roll forward and backward. You're gonna try and make this as smooth as you can. If it feels like you're rolling a square, you're probably not gonna feel the best and it's gonna need a little bit more work. So try and make it as smooth as you can. You can go eight to 10 reps, and if you really wanna make it sexy, you can kind of roll side to side just trying to roll to the right and then to the left individually. Again, I'll do about eight to 10 reps and then I'll move on to my next activity. All right, the third thing we're gonna do to warm up for our squat session is just a standard dynamic mobility warm up. We're gonna work on stretching out our quads, our hip flexors, our calves, our hamstrings, our glutes, just making sure all of those big muscles surrounding the hip, knee, and ankle joints are loose and ready to go. All right, the next step in our squatting warm up is a reverse sled drag. Now, maybe you don't have access to a sled, that's okay. If you don't have it, go ahead, just do it with a V handle in a like cable machine, walk away, you're gonna get the same benefit. But all you're gonna do, grab the handles, very important, I like to make sure my arms are nice and long. Again, you can see how that helps expand and create some space in my upper back. My knees are soft, my abs are engaged, so a little bit of belt buckle up. And then from this position, I'm just going to take little baby steps back. It's amazing for opening up the upper back, getting the quads turned on, and just making sure the entire body feels good before you start squatting. Okay, the last thing I want you to do before you get in the gym and squat is pattern your squat. We've done everything else, right? We've created space on the back side of the body. We've moved around, we've loosened up the ankles, the knees, the hips. So all I want you to do is pattern that squat and really start to lock your technique in. So what you're gonna do, I use a little board because, well, to be honest, I'm not the best squatter on the planet. You're gonna reach long with this PVC pipe, nice and balanced. You're gonna squat down to whatever depth is comfortable, and then you're just gonna hang out here and breathe. Reach long, try and keep that chest up, really long spine. Inhale and exhale. All right, let's say you don't love the PVC squat or it's too basic or you don't have a PVC pipe. Instead, just grab a five or 10 pound plate, whatever works for you. And we're gonna do the same basic activity. It's just patterning that squat to make sure it's as clean and fluid as possible. So you're gonna press out as you come down. Think about trying to keep that torso and that spine long and tall throughout. All right, my friend, that does it for this week's video. Make sure when you go in the gym, before you squat, do these five things. I guarantee it's gonna make a huge impact on how you move and how you feel. And before I let you go, make sure, watch this quick video on the goblet squat. It's one of my favorite activities for learning how to squat safely and effectively.